Michael Skakel went into court with his defense team and was asked if he's enjoying his time out of prison. Um, I wouldn't say enjoy. His lawyer wanted samples of hairs ordered preserved, and they were. These hairs um, are connected to two individuals who have been spoken about by another witness. Um, they have African-American and Asian characteristics. He says the hairs could clear his client, who spent more than 10 years in prison for the murder of his neighbor in Greenwich in 1975, Martha Moxley. Last year, with new lawyers, Skakel won a new trial, and he's free now, awaiting the state's appeal of that decision. In a statement, the Moxley family said, quote, It's our hope that the judge's decision will be overturned, and the conviction will be reinstated, and that Michael Skakel will go back to jail where he belongs, end quote. Mr. Skakel is a wrongfully convicted American citizen with a full panoply of constitutional and civil rights. He is an innocent man. He is not only not guilty, he's innocent. He never did this crime. He got the court to order the prosecution to come up with a list of Skakel's tapes and personal photos not used as evidence, he says, was illegally seized from Skakel's ghostwriter, Richard Hoffman. There was no warrant. There was a piece of paper flashed in front of Mr. Hoffman's face. It was misconstrued, and that is un-American.